What is up, party people? It's your boy, Voltron, with another Anchor video. So we just saw what's been happening with um, USDC, the stablecoin got the peg, the Silicon Valley Bank, you know, they're, they're into trouble, and the feds are getting involved, and, you know, this puts kind of like a bad spot, like, on stablecoins, and stablecoin, USDC was considered one of the more stable of the stablecoins, and even they are having issues. But this could be a silver lining for Anchor going forward because the DeFi is starting to take off, but people are starting to lose trust in the way things are occurring in the DeFi world. So they need to kind of start getting people to start looking at DeFi again and go, hey, you know, we, we, we are learning from the mistakes that we have found. You know, we learn from the UST mistakes. We're learning from now from the USDC and Anchor via Davos. I think Anchor and, and Davos, Davos is a subsidiary of Anchor. They haven't announced it, but if you look at the white papers, you're going to see, find Anchor in there. If you look at who's working for Davos, you come to find out that, hey, you know, it's the same employees working for Anchor and they are introducing stable assets, you know, not a stable coin, but stable assets to try to mitigate the risk that's in DeFi. You know, we just saw what happened with USDC. So Anchor seems to have, you know, saw that there are faults in the way DeFi is at the moment. And there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And they have been working on that via Davos and Ethereum Dubai. If Dubai is around the corner and we may start hearing some news about what they are planning to do, because our boy Diogo is going to be speaking on behalf of Davos and Diogo, Diogo Costas. He works for Anchor, so he's he's working on, on both teams. And we may start hearing some, some good news coming as to what they are building and what their plans are. So we know for now that they're working with Polygon and Avalanche, and they're trying to mitigate the risk that's associated with traditional stable coins, with algorithmic stable coins, and they're trying to make DeFi safer. So it's good news for Anchor. And potentially the stuff that's happening with USDC could be a silver lining because now we're trying we're starting to see that hey even stable coins that are considered safer are not as safe as we thought they were and we need better ways to mitigate the risk that exists in the world of DeFi. so anyway guys until next time peace out safe investing